This report is on a gully erosion sweeping the cemetery situated in Jetu community along the Ibe Jetu Road. It is a cemetery used by the Catholic community of St. Philip Neri Catholic Church, St. Margaret Mary's Catholic Church, and other churches and members of the Jetu community. We will delve into the concerning development plugging this sacred place, examining the causes, consequences, and potential solutions to address this green environmental problem. Without further ado, let us shed light on the situation at hand. As you can see, this gully erosion has brought about a landscape alteration and destruction of grave sites. Loss of burial markers and historical significance. This gully erosion is a threat to the cultural and emotional significance of this cemetery, as well as safety hazards for visitors and mourners. This gully erosion has brought about an unstable terrain and potential accidents and mishap, damage to structural elements such as pathways and fences. It is sad that dead bodies are being washed away from this cemetery. Ahead is Favors Quarter, where a lot of people have been sacked from their homes because of this gully erosion. This is beyond what individuals can undertake because the effect of this um, erosion here is very massive. It is important to call on the local government attention, the state government intention as well as that of the federal government. There is need also to engage volunteers and stakeholders to contribute to restoration efforts at retaining the sanctity and the sacredness of this cemetery. My name is Reverend Father Jude Amone. I'm the parish priest of St. Philip Neri Parish, Jetu. It is a huge disaster and it has started causing great mayhem to the cemetery and even beyond. Because in Favors Quarters, we see many buildings already being affected down to Ugeda community. We just hope and pray that this will not continue as we call on individuals and government to come to our aid. We are pleading they should come to help us so that this does not render this community swallowed up. This is about three years that I have been here. Honestly, I have not seen anything like that. We have actually in the past also made jingles and reported this to the government. They actually made promises, but they haven't done anything yet. Catholic community and as a people, we have on our own done something to see how we can offer palliative measures to curb this situation by putting wood and trying to see how we can also sandfill some area, controlling the runoff from up. But each time we have done this, we discover that when the downpour is heavy, it sweeps everything away. So we are actually helpless. I'm a Honorable Antonio Siamobai. I'm a parishioner of St. Philip, near the Catholic Church, Jetsu. The experience of this guy is so, so disheartening. I'm sure like you see, you can see that uh, the erosion is getting deeper and deeper and wider. And besides that, the devastating effect it's causing is so painful, especially as it's beginning to remove some of the uh, graves. People who have been buried and resting is uh, uh, assuming them and uh, it's not something that is pleasant at all and if it is left like this for a time it's going to affect so many other things you can see it has gotten up to the secondary school it has even eaten deep into it and i'm sure if we leave it like this beyond here it will do a lot of uh, damage and destruction in the jetu community so i think that uh, we need to do something fast about it and it's not a project that is easy to combat. That is why I want to appeal to good government, well-meaning individuals, kind-hearted, spirited individuals to come to the aid of um, the church because uh, the cemetery is a sacred place where we bury uh, people. Uh, so I think that uh, every person that has life, that knows the importance of life, 
and as well as knowing the importance of someone dying and resting, they need to come to our aid. Whatever they can do, they should do it. It's very, very urgent and imminent. To sum it up, this destruction of grave sites, the erosion of cultural heritage, and the threats to public safety cannot be ignored. It is incumbent upon us to collaborate with local authorities, engage community members, and implement scientifically sound strategies to mitigate further erosion and restore the cemetery to its rightful state. By doing so, we will all ensure the preservation of our shared history while fostering a safer environment for future generations. Chris Ozeke reporting for Focus TV Nigeria, the people's voice.